ends at three o'clock this afternoon. Here's live Doppler 7 Max. So here's what I'm watching and a couple of items of note. So we have one little additional region of some lake effect snow. If you're in Highland Park, if you're in Lake Forest, very likely you're seeing that. It will progress toward Northbrook and Deerfield. It's not that heavy, but it's just reinforcing that shot of some lake effect snow. Meanwhile, over in northern Indiana, Gary, your visibility is down to about a mile and a quarter with moderate snow. This is going to continue to shift eastward. And so in northern Indiana, there you see the mile visibility now in Gary, representing this idea of just that snow that's continuing to fall. So nine degrees right now at O'Hare. It's nine degrees out at Midway. We have wind chills below zero this morning. Add to that, we have some gusty winds around the area this morning, and that is resulting in blowing and drifting snow. And as far as snow depth, we have 21 inches of snow on the ground out at O'Hare. That is the most intense snow depth we have had officially at O'Hare since the blizzard of 2011. Now I wanna talk more about snowfall totals, but I'm gonna bring in meteorologist Phil Schwartz to give you an update on that, Phil. Yeah, and Tracy, obviously the heaviest snow fell closest to the lake. Look at some of these totals coming in now. Midway, 17.7 inches, nearly 17 inches in the South Loop. Albany Park neighborhood, you've had 16 inches. And uh, over a foot in places like Oak Lawn, Forest Park, and Hard Hardwood Heights. The farther west you go, the lighter the snow was. You can see just two to six inches once you get out into the western parts of DuPage County and out into uh, uh, Kane County. But right in that purple area, down to Cicero from Evanston and into northwest Indiana, that's where the snow was the heaviest, thanks to the lake enhanced snow that we saw last night and into early this morning. Tracy. And there's so much still open water on Lake Michigan, and that certainly aided in the availability of the moisture to just fall upon the Chicago area in the form of this lake effect snow. Let's go through the seven day a bit because some of you have heard about more snow in the seven day, but it's nothing compared to what we just had as far as tomorrow is concerned. Late tomorrow afternoon and evening, as of right now, this is looking as though primarily maybe an inch, an additional inch of accumulation coming our way, and then things are gonna settle down for a little bit, but I don't think things are so settled on the roads. Roz, what do you have for us? Nor are they settled on the rails, and I'm going to start with CTA because we've got some big issues here. First off, purple and yellow lines have been suspended the entire branch because of switching problems at Howard. That is also affecting the red line. Service suspended between Howard and Belmont on the red line. Now, we also have switching problems that are causing problems for the orange line. They've suspended service between Midway and Pulaski because of switching issues at Midway. And this is an even bigger problem on the blue line. Services suspended that whole Congress branch between LaSalle and Forest Park earlier this morning at Pulaski. According to Chicago police, now they've got a death investigation going on. They were called because of a battery in progress and there was an, a woman there involved in an altercation with an unknown offender. Witnesses told police that then the victim jumped onto the tracks and was pronounced dead on the scene. So they are out there with the investigation. It is affecting the blue line. They're saying take the green line or the number seven Harrison buses as an alternate because we don't know how long until they wrap that up. Metra, yes, we have delays on most of the Metra lines because of the weather, but on the BNSF, they've canceled one train and the rest of them are running at least 20 minutes behind schedule. Expressways, fortunately, we do not have any serious crashes out there, but you need to double your travel time because the roads are still very snow covered. We can give you a couple of perspectives here. We'll start with Storm Tracker Live. They have been making their way up in the northwest suburbs along Route 53 in the area around Northwest Highway. And uh, it, it is starting to show a little improvement now that we've had trucks out there. The snow has stopped and more traffic. Chopper 7, they are over the Stevenson Dan Ryan interchange. That was a big problem throughout the morning because folks could not get up that ramp. Some of the semis there are still having difficulty. I I think this might be the Damon, the Damon ramp coming off the inbound Stevenson where a lot of the semis were not able to get enough traction and IDOT has been out there salting and plowing. So I guess the word is, Tanya and Terrell, 
extra travel time, lots of caution this morning. Back to you in the studio. Yeah, sounds good, Ross. Thank you. And that lake effect snow pounded many neighborhoods and communities. Jessica D'Onofrio is live for us in Andersonville. Jessica. Yeah, Tanya and Terrell and Andersonville is not far from the lakefront, so it really got pounded by this lake effect snow. I want you to take a look at the neighborhood here. You're looking at Clark Street South, and you can see that there are lanes of traffic that people can get down Clark Street. It has been well salted. It has been well plowed, but take a look over here. You can see this is Berwyn Avenue. This is a side street. So this is what a typical side street is going to look like in this area on the north side. There is some deep snow packed onto these side streets. We've been seeing a lot of people having trouble getting out down the street you may not be able to see but there are people trying to dig their cars out to shovel these sidewalks you can see how hard it is to walk on a sidewalk like this so what we've been seeing this morning is people avoiding the sidewalks altogether they're actually walking down main arteries main streets like clark street to get to work to wait for the bus and to even get some coffee across the street. That's what I want to remind people of. It's very cold out here, so keep that in mind. Tanya and Terrell. Thank you, Jessica. And a reminder, you can track the snow on live Doppler 7 Max radar. Just download this free ABC 7 News app. Thank you so much for joining us. And we'll have the latest updates throughout Good Morning America. In fact, another update coming up here in about five or six minutes on ABC 7.